Hello again, everybody. I'm Jimmy the Saint, and welcome back to Shadowgate. It's there. Um, evil lurks in the catacombs beneath this castle. It is time to rise to the challenge and descend into the depths. So we gotta go back through the cave. Well, we do have the Crystallis spell, so we need to go and do that, I guess. Alright, back here. We need to go back through the cave and go to the Crystal Room, because we do have the Crystallis spell, so... Um, we'll go try that, see if I can remember how to get through here. Let's see... This way to the Crystallis. Yeah. Alright, walk over to him. And we've already got the crystals set up. Um, so let's use the Crystallis spell. And what happens now? You close your eyes in concentration and let out the spell with a whisper Crystallis. The air at the edge of the chasm coalesces into a beam of light that reaches out across the chasm to the other side, creating a bridge that spans the depths below. Sweet, so we can get across now. A strange pulsating beam of light bridges the chasm that cuts through this chamber. On the far side, you see a tunnel, no doubt leading deeper into the labyrinth of caves. Let's do it. You close your eyes and raise one foot above the chasm before taking a leap of faith. You breathe a sigh of relief as you step out onto the light and move across the magical bridge to the other side. You cock your head, noting an almost imper imperceptible hum running through this chamber. The sound is just loud enough to set your teeth on edge. Some more caves to traverse. You've seen your fair share of cave openings, and this one is no different. While impossible to describe, you get a distinct sense of wrongness when staring at this opening. Well, that's the one I'm going in. Save my game. <laughs> Let's go through here. You are getting tired of the drab walk walls of these catacombs, so there's nothing here. Glistening rock lines the catacombs. These must have been cut from the solid rock centuries ago. Nothing going on in here. Hmm. Maybe it's just telling me that's the wrong way. You shake your head, hoping to clear it. This maze of caves seems to never end. Truth be told, you wonder if you are lost. The glow from the crystals casts a sticky... A sickly glow throughout the tunnel. Well, nothing to do but keep going, I guess. Oh. Imbued with ancient symbols, a stone skull some 30 hands high has been carved from solid rock. Five stalagmites arranged in what looks like fingers appear ready to crush whoever is foolish enough to approach the spectacle. Well, first things first, we have a glowing pillar so we can cast the... Was an invocant spell on it to invoke. With your, you focus your will on the stone obelisk. With a whispered word, your spell is unleashed. Yeah. Get a cutscene, maybe? The image of Lachmere forms from the obelisk. The time is at hand, is it not? I guess. If you are wise, you know the way into the chamber beyond. What is there? I cannot know, but perhaps you do. For you are beyond what you were. Beyond what I dreamt of. Yes. Surely more than a simple soldier. I pray you have come prepared. 
that you have the orb. listened to the Look words at the staff. of the prophet. Five to find, three are one. One gives access, the bladed sun. The silver Talk about orb elementals. to banish below. The staff of ages to vanquish the foe. We gotta put the orb in it. To the golden thorn, the last to invoke the platinum horn. Five to find, the three, three or one. The pieces of the staff must be joined to make that which was unmade. But this cannot be done without an empowerment to bind them together. An empowerment not unlike the capturing of elementals. An empowerment that requires a great sacrifice. Okay. Now, let us be done with it. Huh. I wonder if we have to capture Lakmir inside the silver orb. You have earned the messenger achievement. Take my essence into the orb and assemble the staff, the wizard says as his ghostly image flickers in the torchlight. Ah, that's what we gotta do. As you have done previously with the elementals, you hold up the orb, pulling the essence of Lachmere inside. A pulsing green glow infuses the orb. Five to find. Okay, so that's the five um, things we need to, I guess, beat the game. Um, three are one, so that infers the staff, the thorn, and the orb become one. As soon as you combine the silver orb with the golden thorn and the stave, a wave of power joyfully courses through your body. You've created the legendary Staff of Ages. Awesome. So, five to find, three are one, so we've made the three to one. The other two, it described the the one to find the, uh, the, what the hell do you call that thing? The sun, bladed sun, and then the platinum horn. It's the last to invoke. It said something like that. So, hmm. Hand. Some type of ornament. A slab of stone protrudes from the rock floor. It resembles a finger and harbors a space made for some type of ornament. I've got three runes left. Oh, they don't fit. An ornament. You stand in awe as you gaze at the legendary Staff of Ages, its power beyond your comprehension. It's like you solve something and you think you're going somewhere and then you realize you're missing something. Ah! The bladed sun into the stone finger. It fits perfectly. You are nearly knocked off your feet as a tremor runs through the caves. Ah, look at the different shapes. back. Let me try using it. It fits any of them. Hmm. No time for dawdling, boy. It's time to see this thing through to the end. Okay, whatever. 
The bladed sun fits perfectly in all of these stones, but which one is it supposed to be in? Five stone fingers. Haven't we seen that pattern somewhere down here before? Well, there's this, which I keep staring at. This stone tablet has various glyphs carved into it. Several symbols resonate with you. A hand, followed by a pointed star, which is the bladed sun, and four vertical lines. Did the other ones glow when I put it in there? I don't think they did. Okay, they do. Huh. I don't get it, I'm missing something. Confidently place the horn to your lips and blow. A single discordant, a single discordant note sounds echoing throughout the chamber. Oh shit! Oh my god! The bladed sun set within the stone finger grows an angry red. You can't help but think that something is wrong. Without warning, searing flames from the eyes of the great skull confirm that you are indeed wrong, dead wrong. <laughs> Is a sad thing that your adventures <laughs> have ended here. All right, we're going to end this episode right here. We'll pick it right back up in the same place in the next episode. Guys, if you haven't already, I'd love to have you subscribe to the channel. Hit the thumbs up button if you like the video. Post any comments or suggestions down below. I post a new video every day. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks so much for watching.